Okay, many thanks for joining in once again on the Buzz UG. Uh, my name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fula. In this video, I'm bringing to you the biggest stories of the week. Yes, the stories that did make headlines in the week. And uh, before I take you through that, please make sure that you subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm Melads Milo, aka Fula. <laughs> Now, this week, uh, we celebrated 61 years of independence and uh, the official celebrations were the other side of uh, Chitugum uh, district, that is where President Museveni, uh, the invited guests and uh, other government officials celebrated the day. However, as President Museveni was addressing uh, the other side of the country, uh, this side of Kamocha, security forces deployed heavily, UPDF, military police, uh, Uganda police, they all deployed heavily that side of Kamocha. Bobby Wan's camp had plans of praying for their missing people, those who are still detained in different detention centers across the country, and those who died, who were killed, uh, allegedly by this regime. But unfortunately, they were not allowed by security forces. And um, at the end of the day, uh, many NUP supporters were arrested. Uh, the bishop who had come to pray or to lead the prayers was also arrested. And um, uh, some leaders, NUP leaders, were also arrested. Uh, for example, uh, Nakawa West, member of parliament, who is also the spokesperson of the party, uh, Horrible Joel Senyonyi, was arrested. Uh, plus the secretary general of the party, that is David Luis Rubongoya, was also arrested. And other supporters, they were arrested. But of course, later, they were released you know they were released by uganda police yes so it was a very big story of the week but uh, according to what you know some people said on social media uh, they said that uganda we are not independent actually even the president of the party his excellency robert chagulani sentamo aka bobby wine said that uganda we are not independent and um uh, I don't want to delve into that right about now, but uh, that was a very big story of the week. Well, away from that, this week, Bobby Wine went to Mbiji to attend a burial ceremony of his bodyguard's grandmother. And uh, later, uh, we started receiving reports on different social media platforms that Bobby Wine uh, survived assassination that side. That gentleman you're seeing right there on your screen attempted to shoot Bobby Wine with a pistol, but uh, good enough, uh, Bobby Wine's security team uh, saw him before action and uh, he was arrested, you know, given some slaps and then later handed over to Uganda police with the pistol he wanted to use. They were all handed over to Uganda police. Uh, reports on social media have indicated that this guy is uh, a security operative and actually he's the head of intelligence that side of Mbiji. But uh, these reports are not yet confirmed and uh, tomorrow we expect the spokesperson of uh, Uganda police, that is uh, Mr. Fred Enanga, to come out and uh, address this matter. Well, still speaking about this story, on social media there are reports that uh, Uganda police are planning to arrest uh, some people on Bobby Wan's security team who assaulted this guy. Yes, uh, those are some of the reports circulating on social media. We haven't confirmed it, but of course uh, tomorrow uh, the spokesperson of a Uganda police will be speaking to the media and uh, we hope he will be talking about this matter right here and I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. <music> Another big story we had this week was the story of uh, Francis Zakei, Mitena Municipality Member of Parliament. Now, horrible Francis Zakei on Independence Day went to Rakai uh, to speak to the people of that side. Uh, horrible Francis Zakei used abusive language and also demeaning statements against the woman member of parliament of that side, that is uh, horrible Juliet Kinyamatama. And, you know, Juliet Kinyamatama was very furious and decided to bring the matter on the floor of parliament and reported it to the Deputy Speaker of Parliament that is uh, right horrible Thomas Tayebua. Yes, the female members of parliament, especially on the NRM side, they were very, very furious and uh, they demanded that uh, horrible Fasi Zake apologizes to the country, to the women. Uh, of course, uh, others are saying that uh, horrible Fasi Zake should be thrown out of parliament because he doesn't deserve to be in parliament. It was a big story on, uh, you know, different social media platforms. However, a big section of Ugandans on different social media platforms seem to be 
on the side of horrible fascists zake okay. of course others are saying that we have had serious issues in this country for example there's a woman who has been in detention for over one year and uh, this is uh, olivia olivia lutaya nup supporter yes she's been in detention for over one year right now and uh, you know some people are saying that we have not seen any woman member of parliament raise this matter on the floor of parliament but they are giving attention to trivial matters yes so that was a very big story this week i don't know how you found it but uh, that was another big story right here on the buzz ug Well, away from that, this week, um, the former vice president of Uganda, that is uh, Right Honorable Edward Chiwanuka, lost his son, Alex Sekandi. Yes, he died two weeks after admitted at hospital. Uh, very, very sad news right there. May his soul rest in peace. <music> Another big story we had this week, ADF rebels attacked again in Kasese district. Yes, they attacked again in Kasese district. Uh, two people were killed and uh, others injured. Uh, I think uh, two others injured. Yes, they actually attacked the trailer carrying goods. And uh, after killing two people and injuring two others, they set it ablaze. Yes, so that was another big story over the week. But of course, according to the deputy spokesperson of uh, UPDF, that is Colonel Del Aki, he said that uh, UPDF is on the hunt of these rebels. Uh, according to him, they were about uh, five in number. And uh, he said that they're hunting for them seriously. And uh, they'll be uh, giving us more updates on that story right there. Yeah, so I must say those are the biggest stories that we had right here on the Buzz UG. I don't know what stories made headlines for you that side where you are. But uh, right here on the Buzz UG, those are the big stories that I had for you right here. And uh, in case you have anything you want to say, about these stories the comment section is very open for you subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications but also follow me the other side of tiktok and melody milo aka fuller it is a bye for now thank you Audio jump.